So I'd like to explain fear. Uh, when I learned this, it really changed my perspective on things as far as when I was in a situation and I thought I was scared. But what was really happening was that I was actually going through the natural body's states of preparation for action, of that fight or flight. So the few things that we've seem to recognize or misunderstand as actually being fear are the trembling. People say you're trembling in fear. You're actually trembling because adrenaline's pumping through you and you just got so much adrenaline that you just want to do something. You want to fire, you want to run. So no longer trembling in fear, you're trembling with adrenaline ready for fight or flight. Uh, you go pale, white like a ghost. It looks like you've seen a ghost. You know, People assume if you see a ghost, suddenly you're scared. But again, that's more preparation for fight or flight, a physical happening in the body. So blood leaves the surface of the, of the body. So one thing, you, when you get cut or scratched or whatever, you're not going to bleed out. Uh, another thing it does is that it pulls the blood from the surface into the muscles for those gross body movements of running or fighting. Uh, and then we have uh, the uh, butterflies in the stomach. You know, you're nervous or whatever. And what's actually happening there is that blood is leaving those major organs and going into more the muscles that are ready for the fight or flight. So if you're, say you gotta go up for a speech and you get butterflies in your stomach, you're already a little nervous, so you gotta go up and speak, and your body wants to run. You really wanna escape that situation. Uh, and then there's sweating. Sweating's another thing that the body does for that fight or flight. Sometimes it mis, mis, mis uh, recognizes the situation as I, again, you don't have to speak for a bunch of people, so you start to sweat. But again, that's fight or flight. If someone's gonna try to make you stay, they'll try to grab you and you're slippery because you're sweaty and you pull away and you can run away again. Uh, and then we can get tunnel vision, which of all the preparations for the body, I think that's the worst one. But it's also good too because then you have a direct line of what you want. And Wing Chun it actually really focuses on that center line and fighting from it and protecting it. So you're really, that's straight on. And even the self-defense training system, it's all about moving forward and taking ground. So we can work within that, what I think is a limitation, but we can maybe make so it's a strength. But generally what I'm saying here is that what we recognize as fear is not fear. It's just the body's preparation. The only place that fear exists is within our minds. Um, like, for example, people are afraid of bees. Bees are little, bees have a little stinger. Ah, it stings you, it hurts for a bit. Some people are allergic to it and they can die. Okay, they have an EpiPen, I understand. People are afraid of dogs, afraid of little dogs. So they run away and scream. If they just turned around and not saying go kick a dog, but just kick that dog. Like, if someone's ch chasing after you, face it. If you're gonna try and run a big dog, there's no way. You're gonna be running, it's gonna be biting back your leg, it's gonna tackle you and it's gonna start biting you and you're gonna scream and cry and you're not going to do anything for yourself. But if you face, turn and face that dog, there's a good chance it'll run away itself because it sees that he is going to face a fight. So fear, again, is just in the mind. Wipe it out of your mind. Choose a different thought. But just know your body trembling. If you're standing in front of somebody and they want to fight you and you start to tremble and they say, oh, you look scared. No, you're not scared. You can let them think that. But it's not true. Your body's ready to hit. Your body's ready to run. It's ready to do something. But don't, don't identify it as fear, because it's not that. It's just preparation for action.